This clip is brought to you by SaveWithConrad.com. As we as we uh, finish out the show, we'll talk about uh, kind of how it wraps up. So we go to the 25th, Columbus, Georgia. You and Tully wrestled the Midnights to a double DQ. We're talking a lot of double DQs here, but we're getting to something here uh, soon. You'll see it. Then you're at the Omni. 13,000, your favorite building, 700 fans. Watch the Road Warriors defeat you and Tully by disqualification. August 27th, 13,500 in the Charlotte Coliseum. Watch you and Tully fight the Midnight Express to a no contest. Then you're over to Greensboro on the 28th, and uh, uh, 6,000 more fans saw the same match with the same outcome. And then from the Ocean Center in Daytona Beach, Florida on the 28th, the Horsemen were defeated by Dusty, Paul Ellering, the Road Warriors, and Nikita in a 10-man tag. Finally, as we start to wrap it down, the 29th in Greenville, you and Tully wrestled the Midnights to a double disqualification. TV taping in Savannah the next day featured the same match, same finish between the Horsemen and the Midnights. And then on the 31st, there was recorded television from the TBS studios. But that, since that show doesn't appear until September 3rd, we're going to cover what happened on that episode next week. But Arn, you and Telly fought the Midnight Express all over the country following the Great American Bash and sold out arena after arena. You heard some of those numbers there, 13,000 here, 13,000 there. Thousands of people saw the tour and the subsequent fallout. JCP was on the surface, still very hot across the country. Yeah, you know, if you look at those numbers and you go back and you kind of remember six months before that, we were still we were doing good business. But anytime you can do 13,000, and then another 13,000 back-to-back business is good. That's a lot of folks. And it, you could just feel that we were having a resurgence within the company, and that match was, was kind of leading the way. The reason we had all those double, you know, double DQs and all that was it just got out of hand quickly. Yeah. And, uh, you know, the, the, when you have the intensity and you have a, a personal angle like that, it didn't take long for it to flame up. And that's pretty much what happened. Hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell so you get a notice anytime we upload some new content. And go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30 year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money, it's a matter of how much. Find out right now for free at SaveWithConrad.com.